I just want to share with you a couple of different ways to make labels for wide mouth mason jars. These are the eight ounce jars and these are the four ounce jars. And there are a couple of different ways to make labels, including several ways that don't require Photoshop, a printer, anything like that. So I want to run over those with you. And first, oh, by the way, this uh, stand here, this came from Michael's, the art and craft store. And uh, they used to have them. I think they've discontinued them. But if you search around, you might find one. They run about $12 for the uh, wooden case. Then the labels, you can see I've done a few things here. So this is one that I made in Photoshop where I just take elements from the existing uh, labels, which I actually photographed, if I recall correctly, photograph this one. So you can do that or, I mean, at minimum, get yourself a roll of labels, this 500 unit roll probably costs $4 on Amazon. So I use that for quite a few blends, especially if I don't know that I'm committed to a blend. Now, other ways to do this, if you don't want to use Photoshop, all that, then I find a really good way, two good ways. One, if it is the kind of container that has paper on it, well, just take a knife, slit it up along the uh, area where it comes together, and then take your jar lid, like so, and put it on the label until you like how it looks, trace a circle, and then cut it out. And I just stick the piece of paper in between. You get the idea that and if you take your time, you do it right, you can get ones that are pretty good uh, doing it that way. So I did similarly with just, say, taking part of the Embarcadero one. I didn't try to do a real good job here. Or Cornell and Deal, this is a paper label. And that's one way to do it. Uh, if you are dealing with the 50 gram tins like this, where it's glued on, labels glued on, well, what do you do then? In that case, what you can do is take a lighter, and here I'll show you one that I just did from this. You'll see it looks like it's been burned a little bit here. You just take the lighter, you heat it up a little bit along one edge. Once it's warm to the touch, not so hot that you burn yourself, but warm, then you take your thumb and you start peeling and you rough it up. By the way, this is after you've drawn, traced your circle around uh, the design as you like it. This will not work well for every single blend. Balkan Sobrani being a good example that, you know, you have to pick which part of the art you want. Some of them though work really well. Like Peterson Old Dublin is what I just did right now that prompted me to make this video. You just trace a circle around the part of it that you want. Then you begin heating it up, you peel up a little bit, and then you wanna form a, a fairly wide base to grab from, and you wanna do it away from the part of the circle that you're gonna use, so that you can start to peel the whole thing as a single piece. As you go, do it slowly or else it'll tear. Keep heating it up right at the area just beyond where you're at yet. Heating it up causes the glue to become soft again. And I was able to peel all but just that little part off with no residue here, which made it sticky again. And then the label just sticks. I cut it out and it just sticks to the top of the, the metal piece. So I've done this with quite a few, like 1792 or uh, others in there that I have elsewhere. So anyways, these are a couple of ways you can do this without having to use a printer. Enjoy.